Great Britain's Challenger 2 tank sucks, and here's why. Firstly, it weighs anywhere from 62 to 75 tons depending on armor. And although it has a beast of an engine, a 26 litre twin turbocharged V12, it means it's still slow with a top speed of only 37 miles per hour in comparison to the Leopard 2's 43 miles an hour. Furthermore, the weight means it's prone to get stuck in marshy terrain, as has been seen in its use in Ukraine. The tank also has minimal protection against loitering ammunition slash drones, relying on its Chobham and reactive armor. The Challenger 2's next problem is its 120 20mm rifled gun. Although this adds accuracy, it also increases the maintenance required, as with continued use, the rifle's barrel wears down. On top of this, you have to use specific two-part ammunition in comparison to the single-piece NATO standard. This restricts the length of armor-piercing ammo due to storage issues, reducing its penetrating capabilities. To add to all of this, the Chally 2 has no autoloader, increasing the crew size and interior space needed. But with all of this said, every single negative point I've stated also has a counter-benefit, and my true belief is the Challenger 2 is still a kick-ass fantastic tank.